So, so far we've seen Office 365 adoption in Hong Kong and also in Prague in Central Europe. We've seen the themes really resonate in both locations about mobility and also cost efficiency. And we've put our different technologies to the test showing real-time translation in the streets of Hong Kong and real-time route planning using apps for office and web services to guide our way through Prague. Our next stop, Dubai. Now Dubai in the Gulf region is really the hub of technological innovation. Really the marquee place where we see the world's most inspirational engineering. We see the world's tallest building and also man-made islands in the shape of palm trees in the map of the world. In Dubai, I'm going to be joined by Microsoft's own Assad Ahmed, who's going to be my guide in the region. We're also going to catch up with partners and customers who are leading the charge in the ecosystem moving to the cloud in Office 365. And of course, the Garage Series wouldn't be complete without some great demos as we look at offline scenarios using Office 365 and the cloud without always being connected to the cloud. I'll also be showing one of the world's first smartwatches running Office apps connecting to Office 365. But before we get started, let's have a look at today's trivia question. True or false, Office 365 and Office Online with Outlook web app in the browser work with or without internet connectivity. I'm here with about 500 IT pros and partners that are here to learn about Office 365 and how to implement and manage the services. I'm also joined by Asad Ahmed as my guide to Dubai. Welcome. Thank you. Good to be here, Jeremy. So Dubai is one of uh, the United Arab Emirates, Emirates, one of many. Tell us about the region. Well, look, Dubai is one of the multitude of, of cities within the United Arab Emirates, but what's synonymous about all of them is growth, right? If you look at where Dubai is today to what it was 10 to 15 years ago, that's an example of what all the other cities within the Emirates are striving right. towards. Office 365 has been here for about a year. Yes. But how does that kind of equate to this to this need for and this thirst for innovation? First of all, we didn't really understand how they would accept cloud as a technology. We were right. quite we we're quite worried, but we were astounded by the uptake. We've, it's only been in the market with us for about a year or so, but the interest level with our partners, with our customers, has been so high. We also learned a couple of key interesting data points. One of them was cost savings and mobility was what's really driving the interest in adapt, adopting cloud. And you'd wonder, with all these great mega projects that the Emirates is known for, why would cost saving be it? And what we learned was, it was how do you do things in a very smart way? How do you conserve cost, but then be able to do those mega projects and be known for being business smart about it. And you wouldn't expect the cost and value to be a top driver. No. So you when you're walking around, you see things like ski slopes inside of malls, and it's the hottest place on the planet. That's but right the biggest buildings in the world as well and some of the greatest architectural achievements that I've seen. Yeah. But what are the, what are the, uh, re the industries that we're seeing in terms of Office 365 uptake and, and some of the verticals that, we're, that are sure. experiencing that? Well, the, there's about three to four key verticals that's really driving interest in the cloud. Uh, trade would be the first and foremost. That's mm -hmm. the lifeblood of majority of the business that happens in the Emirates, especially in a city like Dubai. Then you've got hospitality and tourism as well as uh, the financial services sector and real estate. What are the types of customers that you're seeing moving to Office 365 in the cloud? What are they looking to solve or pain points that they want to address? So initially we started with the small to medium enterprise, but uh -huh. now we're seeing more and more large enterprise interested to move to the cloud. When we first began, it was mainly uh, startup companies and SMB. But now we started to see uh, uh, corporate accounts and enterprise accounts mm -hmm. are uh, requesting demos and, and some of them have already made the shift and moved to the cloud. So as customers consider moving to the cloud, what pain points are they looking to solve versus managing things on premises? I think CapEx. So we're seeing organizations growing very quickly organically, but are also acquiring other organizations. So from right. an IT point of view, that is putting a lot of pressure and they want to, you know, they're enjoying the scalability, flexibility to add you know, a thousand user uh, uh, by, by a single click. I know you've done a lot of acquisitions in the last uh, three or four years, so tell us about how that really plays into Office 365 and how that might change the way you think about uh, IT and how to, how to move some of those uh, other groups together. Well, we're one of the largest ground handling companies and uh, airport services companies in the world, so we're quite strong in Dubai. Um, but we're also expanding globally, and uh, we grow both by uh, organic growth, but also acquisition. And that gives me, as an IT guy, 
um, some core challenges around the, um, the diversity of the systems that we buy. Right. So we don't really look at the IT of the company when we acquire it. We acquire it because it's in a market we want, um, or it's got customers we want. The, the, they don't really go in and say, well, you know, what's the IT like in there? So I can, I can end up with a company that's got any kind of system in there. And I need to very quickly and easily get that into a Donata uh, culture and, and landscape. Office 365 also acts as a portal. So it gets them into the Dubai Emirates domain and that allows them to access all the functionality. If the UK developer training, a wonderful training system, now it's available in Singapore through the, through the portal. Right. Office 365 isn't just functional, it isn't just connection, it's a portal to, to the greater world of, of Donata as well. And how do you see the mobile device strategy playing into this? Do you have a lot of uh, different devices, different platforms that you need to support as well as part of this? Well, we're um, airport services. So we work on airports and it's quite a, a mobile workforce, you know. Um, easy to think of it as at the aircraft and not in the office. Mm -hmm. um, but people move around a lot and it's very labor based. Mm -hmm. So giving them, you know, a multiple channel to get the same information and the same functionality is, is a very good value add for us. So we had some great conversations and we decided to head back to the Microsoft office here in Dubai. And one of the things that struck me as odd was the need for mobility. It keeps coming up and here in Dubai, especially with all this growth, right. people need to be able to work on the go. Well, you know what, it doesn't surprise me. I mean, if you think that what you see as UAE where it is today, this is just a tip on the iceberg on what they're planning. So let's take an example. I mean, if we're in construction, okay, with all these mega projects, how, how can we show the power of the cloud to our customers and how they can manage these large scale projects? And we've been doing a lot of work uh, around project management over the years. And one of the things that we've done is really take our project management tools, Microsoft Project, move them also as part of the cloud service. Mm -hmm. So what I can do here, you know, if you think back to how project began, it was really a set of apps. In this case, I've got a rich set of applications. I've got very uh, complex set of projects with the multiple resources, and we really want to see how I can use our project tools to manage, in this case, uh, a project around building a mall, a project around building a parking garage, and also desert development. Because all of these different things, you know, we have various resources, uh, tasks, stakeholders, all on that, on that project list. Now, all of this gets even more powerful when I combine that with a cloud service. So we have also a project online. Basically, I can publish all of those individual projects right to SharePoint. Then I get a view of all of them. I can see how, how complete each one of those are in terms of percentage completion here. Mm -hmm. I can see all the resources, all of that in one view. And the great thing is, because it's integrated with Office 365, when I click on the tasks here, and in my, in my example, I'm a, a concrete worker, I've got all those things right in my calendar that I can, I can see when I sync that up with Outlook. So all of that project management, whether I'm using uh, SkyDrive Pro to manage my tasks or even the Outlook client will help me out. But let's take that conversation a little further. A lot of my customers, especially in the construction vertical, have a key pain point about how majority of their employees are really in remote locations. You right. just gave an example of a concrete worker. You know, he's usually in a location where internet isn't exactly available. So why don't we extend that discussion a bit further about how we can really use cloud right. in, a, in, a, in an area where the fabric of the internet is not so easily accessible. Yes, because you don't really need to have the cloud constantly there to be able to use the cloud. You can use a lot of these things offline. So what we can do is actually see that in action on site. Right. in the desert in Dubai, which is actually prime real estate here. It's the first rain of the year, right? You're right. That marks the first win uh, day of winter in Dubai. Right. So out here, of course, there's no internet. Yep. We're, we're completely uh, unplugged yeah, off the wire. Yep. Um, so we have to get stuff done, though. So let's say, for example, hypothetically speaking, we're one of the main real estate developers here in Dubai. Mm -hmm. We come out and we do surveying of a site. We maybe take some photos, mm -hmm. maybe come back to our, our, our office or back to our homes. Yep. and compile that into a document, but 
I think now with Office 365, you can start some of that work maybe in the office. We've got a couple aerial photography shots that we took prior to coming out here. Yeah. And you can begin your documents and then still work on them, even though they're stored in the cloud. That's exactly right. Offline on, on your PC. And you can do that. And even though I didn't put Office on your particular machine, uh -huh. you can do that with immersive OneNote and, and even with the browser, right? Sure. I mean, let me show you. So in this case, let's say I've got my OneNote document open and we've got the aerial shot picture that we just took earlier on this device. All right. And with OneNote, one of the f amazing features is you can use a stylus to kind of just mark right on the picture the new right radial away. radial menu, all yeah, optimized for touch. It's all touched, you know. And uh, the really cool thing, here is that uh, basically uh, where where the file is saved doesn't matter whether it's you know locally or it's centrally right now it's just locally cached but all of this will automatically synchronize whenever right. I get back to the internet field so it looks like we're a few miles or a few kilometers away from Dubai that's right so we're about three kilometers away from Dubai and the site that we're looking at here is to kind of build a mall right one of our projects was to build the mall that's right and of course, with it, any mall needs a parking garage. Yeah, right? and you've seen some of the great parking lots yeah, here. Yeah, even those are beautiful <laughs> in Dubai. That's right. So we're going to draw a quick parking lot over here. And then if you remember that picture we, we saw when we were kind of walking out of the site, which was of this big giant sand dune, we took a picture of that as well here on right, the device. Right, right. What we need to do right. to build our parking lot is we're going to have to level it up. So I'm just going to kind of level that out. And we're all set to go from here. Right, and even beyond this, with you know, this is just OneNote working on, on the machine. If you go into a browser, you can still use Outlook Web App, which I think will blow a lot of people's minds. That's right. Let me show you in that terms of feature. being in the web and in the browser, but not really connected. Yeah, that's very true. I mean, a lot of people misunderstand the power of what Office 365 can really do. Whether you're online or offline, you can still be productive the way no you are. There's no network here, of course, because we're in the middle of the desert. Right, so there's no internet here right now, as you can see. But yet, if I open up this favorite in my browser, it opens up Outlook just as it is. And I've been emailing you a lot, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, and you're asking me for a resync on this postmortem that we had. But you know what? Yeah, that was the third in a, in a series of meetings. It's been long, and you know what? I'm just going to try and say, first of all, Fridays are the weekend in Dubai, unfortunately. Right, right. So That's I'm right. going to say, hey, is this really necessary? And can we wrap this up in Dubai on Thursday as opposed to Friday? Right, okay. That, a little that smiley totally face out there for you. Okay, and the other the other great thing too, even even your calendar, you can get to directly from this device as well. Well, you sent me a, you, you were quite persistent. You sent me a calendar <laughs> meeting yeah. as well, so I'm going to go out there in the calendar right now, and basically just move to that feature, and cancel that calendar request right away. Right. Okay, and even beyond that, so now we've 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 seen OneNote obviously running locally on the computer mm -hmm. with cache file. The browser, amazingly, still being able to work in OA, which you would assume that would always take an internet connection to work. Sure. But of course, we've got files that are stored both uh, in our SharePoint sites. We might want to synchronize those with our hard drive. So how would that work for me? And I've actually got an Office client. I was, I was lucky enough to provision myself one. Um, in, in my case, I've got here browser still open from when I left the office. Mm -hmm. It's got all of our documents from our team site. Everything's there. The problem is, though, once I'm, once I'm offline, and you know, here, of course, we've got no internet connection. You can see the red X there in, mm -hmm. the, in the corner of the screen. Nothing's available, nothing's on my networks list. I can't do anything, right? Actually, that's not true. So if I open up the file explorer, what you'll see is I've actually synchronized our team site. You can see the desert site project document that's right, right here uh, on my on my PC. And literally here, you can see we're, off, we're using an offline copy. Mm -hmm. It doesn't but, have the updates that I did just recently uh, right. on my device. But I can, I can, for example, I can make an edit to this document mm -hmm. or I can even insert a picture. And the nice thing is once I get back online, the, the copy is going to sit in the upload center and just automatically upload it back to our team site in SharePoint. So even though I have no connection, I'm still connected to the cloud. Exactly. But in an offline way, temporarily, until I get back online. Well, you could be at a different part of the site, and you could be making your own notes uh, distancely away from me. And when we get back to the fabric of the internet, when you updated, my work and your work were kind of, kind of infused together. So right. to always be co-authoring offline and then automatically synchronizing it online. Right, so I'm still capable to use the cloud without being connected to the cloud with all these great offline scenarios. That's right. So one of the great things about Office 365 is that we can really work from any device. And luckily, because we got all of our work done ahead of time, I'm able to relax out here on the bay in front of Dubai. And my device of choice this week is an Android smartwatch. It will install a lot of Office apps and I can even take link video calls right from this watch. I'd like to see that happen. All right, let's do it. You can see I've already got Link running. Uh, I've got my presence going there. Right. 
All right, start with a phone call. Okay, the call's coming in. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and accept your call. Now you can start up your video. Once we're, once we're uh, connected. Just, I'll accept it. And there you have it. That's you. Right, so before we, uh, before we end today's show, let's have a look at the answer to today's trivia question. True or false, Office 365 and Office Online with Outlook web app in the browser work with or without internet connectivity. Of course, the answer to the trivia question was true. We actually saw all of that working, even Outlook web app in a browser without internet connectivity. That's right. So Jeremy, what do you think? You've been here a few days, what's, your, what's the verdict? This place is really incredible. It's inspiring to see what they've been able to do in a really short time. That's right. I mean, this is a city about transformation. All the way from the sand to the sky to the seas. It's about change. So it's going to be really interesting to see where our customers go in terms of cloud adoption. And I'm looking forward to getting back here and seeing the next phase of Dubai's development. That's all we have time for today. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now. Hey, hey, Hassan, I thought we're in Dubai. We're going to be driving supercars. <laughs> <laughs>